There's a new report from Chinese scientists published this week that shows large amounts of the COVID virus was fixed, mixed in with genetic material from raccoon dogs at an outdoor wet market in Wuhan. The data seems to point to the virus emerging at the Wuhan market where a variety of animals and wildlife are sold. Chinese researchers published the study yesterday in the journal Nature. It focused on swabs taken in, the Wu, in Wuhan in early days of the pandemic. Scientists confirmed that the DNA from raccoon dogs and other animals was found in COVID samples, especially in one corner of the wet market where exotic wildlife was sold. However, it still doesn't prove that the virus originated there. No animal has ever been found carrying the virus. The exact origin remains unclear. The new report this week, however, adds to the raging debate of whether or not it came from a lab leak or natural transmission. News Nation's chief Washington correspondent, Blake Berman, joins us now with more. Hey, Blake. Hi there, Elizabeth. You're right. These Chinese government scientists are now acknowledging the prevalence of COVID in Wuhan, China, in a wet lab, they say in January of 2020. But back here in the U.S., many believe that COVID actually started well before that and elsewhere. A new study from Chinese government scientists says the COVID positivity rate in and around a Wuhan seafood market in January 2020 was nearly 8 percent, but it does not go as far as to pinpoint the market as the origin of the virus. It's a potential counterpoint to the lab leak theory, once viewed by some as a debunked fringe conspiracy. However, the idea that COVID-19 did not start from a wet market, instead escaping from the Wuhan Institute of Virology, is gaining steam. There is no smoking gun proving a laboratory origin hypothesis, but the growing body of circumstantial evidence suggests a gun that is at very least warm to the touch. Dr. Jamie Metzl was one of the first scientists in early 2020 to be shunned for saying a lab leak was possible. But last month, he was one of Congress's star witnesses. I certainly believed then and knew then, as I believe and know now, that this is a fully viable hypothesis that must be fully and comprehensively investigated. It's now the lead theory at the FBI. Director Christopher Ray saying recently, quote, the FBI has assessed for quite some time now that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident in Wuhan. According to reports, the Department of Energy has made a similar assessment. But the U.S. government does not yet have one official finding. And a 2021 report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence gives weight to both the natural transmission and lab leak theories. Congress unanimously sent a bill to President Biden, which calls for declassifying information involving COVID origins. The president signed that bill, and the White House tells us the president remains open-minded, something I asked White House officials last month. Has the president formed an opinion as to what he thinks happened? He no, he's happen? not. Nor would he. Why would he? He wouldn't form an opinion before uh, he has access to, uh, you know, m more and more intelligence about, about what happened. Elizabeth, I am told that this declassification process is already underway. The director of national intelligence has somewhere between early to the middle of June to release this information. One thing to keep in mind here is that there's going to be a lot of eyes, a lot of hands involved with this, because within the intelligence community, Elizabeth, there are 18 different agencies. Elizabeth. Right. And those 18 agencies are all divided. I mean, half of them, more than half of them think it came yeah. from the wet market. And the FBI and the Department of Energy are convinced that it came from the lab. There's definitely a divide within government as to exactly how this started. I'm not entirely sure. I've been asking whether or not all the government agencies within the uh, within the IC, the intelligence community, will sort of have their say. But but most certainly a, a majority of them or at least a good portion of them are expected to weigh in. Uh, during this declassification. Well, period. I'm sure a lot of people, including me and you, want to see what was in that <laughs> report that will be declassified we'll, in June. We'll be asking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep at yeah, it. Thanks exactly. so much, Blake. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.